watching The High Road with me, Keith Warren. Brought to you by Timber Creek Outdoors. I'm telling you, if he gets close enough, he's done. I love that deer. That's a heck of a deer right there. This has to be one of my favorite places ever to hunt, period. Not just whitetail deer, but to hunt, period. This property is huge, and the habitat is beautiful, and the people, you can't beat the people anywhere. My name is Robert Sergi, the ranch director of Legends Ranch up here in Bitely, Michigan. We're excited to have Keith and Maddie back. Keith's been coming back here for many years, and every year I look forward to hunting with him. This is the High Road's first hunt of the season and I couldn't be more excited. One, because we're at Legends Ranch, which is our home away from home. But two, because I'm with my two favorite guys. My number one hunting partner, which is my dad, and then my soon-to-be husband, Ryan Tackett. My name's Ryan Tackett and I'm engaged to Maddie. We're at the Legends Ranch. I'm really excited to be here. It's something I really want to do for a long time. They talk about it all the time. So the plan is pretty simple. Ryan thinks that he's just tagging along, gonna hang out here, see what Legends is all about, because me and my dad rant and rave about it all the time. But we are actually going to surprise him and let him do the hunting. Naturally, the first stop when we got here was the range. I needed to check zero because I have a very special rifle with me. I'm actually using Ryan's dad's old rifle. It's a 300 Win Mag and it's a family heirloom. His dad passed away about 10 years ago. I never got to meet him, but I know he was an incredible man because he raised an incredible son. Okay, fire in the hole. All right, send it. It sure looks good, you squeezing that trigger. It's perfect. How is it? It's good. Good deal. Brian, you want to shoot once? Yeah. All right. Jump up in there. Nice trigger pull. Did it look good? Yeah, it does. If I did that good, I'm sure you could do that good. <laughs> well, clearly the rifle is on if you shot good too and not just me. Yeah, that's true. Do you want to go ahead to the stand? Yeah, let's do it. I think you're going to like what you're going to yeah. see. So this year, I'm back. I brought the Dragon Claw and it's a 50 cal. I'm shooting an arrow at a blistering 500 feet per second. And it took one shot to make sure it's on. Ha <laughs> ha Perfect, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go get the stand right now. Greg, it seems like just yesterday we were here throwing snowballs at each other. I forgot all about that. Yeah, and now it's so pretty. I don't think I've ever been here when it's green. Come here, let me get you. I think hey. all of your scent is killed. Oh, my scent better be killed. Grab your gun. Let's go. Okay. All right, Ryan, we're going back to the blind where Keith and Eddie have shot some beautiful bucks. And we can get to spot another one. But, uh, Maddie, you just want to tell them how. I guess so. Okay, so. We want to bring you up here so you can see why we love Legends so much, but we want you to really know why we love it, and you're going to be shooting your dad's gun. I'm not hunting. You really? Yeah. Thanks, okay. babe. You're welcome. Yeah, I was just bringing this gun here. I thought I was just a gun carrying guy. No, you're more than a gun carrying guy. You're the shooter. Well, I thought it was an upgrade. I thought I was just carrying the camera. <laughs> this is way better than what I was ever dreaming of. Well, just shoot straight. You'll be fine. So it was already a privilege to be able to come along on this trip and to be surprised with such a great thing, like actually getting to shoot something, and especially with my dad's gun, you can't top that. I always hear stories about this place and how magical and you know special it is. And I don't think you really grasp how special it is till you come here. said we got rain coming and I think he was telling the truth. Getting set up in the blind, it is starting to drizzle a little bit. I can hear the rain hitting. So hopefully it's not gonna rain too hard, but we're gonna see what happens. Everywhere I go, I know that the Lucas products are gonna keep my farms working tip-top shape. 
Okay, the weather has been anything but nice up here this week, and this is a family heirloom rifle, and so uh, it's a beautiful rifle, and we want to keep it that way. And what I wind up doing is I keep them nice with Lucas Oil CLP. What I wind up doing is take a little bit and put it on a rag, just like that, and then I take and I want to put a light coating on all parts of the metal. But family heirlooms need to be taken care of just like your everyday firearms. And this right here is an easy way to do it out here in the field. We're not done with the hunt yet, but once we get back, then we'll give it a good thorough cleaning. But Lucas Oil COP gets it done every time. What we're calling this week with Keith Warren is the cast and blast, which means you're gonna be fishing three mornings and then hunting three afternoons. What do you think of that? I love it. All right, this is the cast. Next up is the blast. I believe that no matter how close you are to even family members, uh, you spend your whole life trying to get to know them better. And so when it comes to Ryan Tackett, uh, this is a real important trip for me because I want to get to know him as best as I can because clearly he's going to spend the rest of his life with my daughter. You know, Ryan wound up, he lost his dad when he was a teenager and uh, Ryan, to this day, he misses dad dearly. And so it's for that reason that I think that uh, there's a void probably in his life that uh, of a male figure that, that you know, he was uh, cheated out of it, so to speak. And so I look at it, I think part of my responsibility is I wanna be a good role model to him. And I wanna make sure that uh, he does the right thing because, hey, he is gonna be my son-in-law. So Ryan is a very special person. He's one of a kind. I've never met anyone like him. He's incredibly hardworking. He's kind. He has a massive heart. And quite honestly, he reminds me a lot of my dad. They both work super hard. And to be able to disconnect from the everyday life and just kind of talk and get to know each other, it was really fulfilling for me because they're both very important in my life and I want them to have a good relationship. So me and Mr. Warren, we work a lot, and to get a chance to come to a place like this, to come to the Legends Ranch, and really sit down and bond and spend time together is very important, I know to me, and especially to him, because it means a lot to both of us, because Maddie is so special to each of us. Legends Ranch always has something new up their sleeve. They're always doing things to try to instill positive change for the hunting industry and community. They've got this new package where it is for families that have not grown up hunting and for parents who wanna teach their kids how to hunt. And they've got this passion, but they don't know how to fulfill it. They don't have a place to go hunt or the means to do so. And it's all about passing it on. It's for that reason that Robert Sergi and the folks here at the Legends Ranch have started this program up so they can be mentors, they can be that father or grandfather figure to lots of people that they don't even know yet to help them start loving the outdoors. So my name is Trisha and we're here at Legends Ranch in Bightley with my little one Madeline. This is a big deal for us. I grew up hunting with my dad, started when I was five and it's always been a thing for me to make sure that my kids know everything from start to finish about that it's more than just killing an animal, it's about the family and the tradition and the camaraderie and the stories and it means a lot to me to have my kids out with me in the woods, especially being girls because in my opinion not enough females in the woods so it means a lot. My guide for this trip is uh, Randy Flannery. Randy's been around here actually longer than I have. He's a great guy for anybody that's a beginner all the way up to somebody like me that's been out here for 20 years. I'm Randy Flannery, head guide at Legends Ranch, and I get to guide an old buddy that I guided for the first time 20 years ago, Keith Warren. The weather is horrible, clearly, and uh, we have changed locations, actually changed strategy somewhat. We're in a food plot right now. It looks like we're in a field to go goose hunting, actually. We've got tornado warnings all around us. 
and uh, we can't kill one lodge, so we're gonna stay put here. It is some kind of nasty. Do you see that buck who's standing in the grass way back there, probably 200 yards? See nothing but his head sticking up. I'm locked up, yeah. He's, he's a heck of a deer right there. He's locked up. He's gonna take it easy and view the situation before he steps in. I'm telling you, if he gets close enough, he's done. I love that deer. All right, he's out in the field. Yeah, he's... Yeah, hold the seat. Looks like a four-year-old deer. Big body. Heck of a deer. He's definitely mature. We've had some three-year-olds out here, and he's, uh, he's got a your older body than they do. I get asked often, how far can I shoot the dragon claw? And I can shoot it, and I can shoot probably three and a half inch groups at 100 yards, but I'm not gonna shoot a deer at 100 yards with this air rifle. I'd like to get it at 40 yards or less. And this deer right now is heading into the sweet spot. That's that monster buck right there. He's coming this way, get ready, come on, get ready. He won't make it out of the field. That was right through his heart, baby. <laughs> oh. Oh. We were covered up with deer tonight. I mean, absolutely covered up with deer tonight. It was the most awesome thing. And then all of a sudden, this guy, that is a monster buck. And clearly, he was the oldest buck in the field. And I was like, <laughs> we're running out of daylight. And all of a sudden, he comes up and offers me a shot. Bam, put it right through his heart. The arrow went right through his heart. Oh. All right, I've said it before and I'll say it again. There is no ground shrinkage when you come up here to the Legends Ranch. Look at this deer. That has to be some of the best deer footage we have ever gotten, ever. And I mean, when we come up here to Legends, it's like, it, it's like Disneyland for the whitetail hunter. I've said it before, but check this guy out. I had no idea he was this big. You know, we saw him come in from, I guess he was about 400 yards away when we first laid eyes on him. Then he went down through that tall grass, and I honestly, I didn't think he was gonna come in. Randy said, just stay put. We, you know, we were covered up with buck tonight. Totally covered up, yeah. They wanted to stay in that back corner for a long time and then fade around a little bit, and eventually they're gonna come on in. I gotta brag about the Dragon Claw. This 50 caliber Seneca air rifle is unreal. It blew, that arrow blew through him like it was paper tuning a bow, 500 feet per second, and I mean, this is a monster deer. So folks, if y'all want more information about coming out here to the Legends Ranch, this is out of Bitely, Michigan. I've been coming up here for 20 years now. And Randy's been up here as long as I've been up here. Randy is the head guide. So anyway, give him a call. But right now we got to get this guy loaded up because we're going to have a celebration. So my dad showed me a lot about the outdoors. He was always taking me fishing, hunting, baseball practice you name it. He was, a, he was a great father and a few years ago, 10 years ago or so, he passed away. In the same sentence, I brought my dad's gun here. So my dad uh, had a 300 Win Mag that my mom bought him in 1999, which is coincidentally the same year that I was born. Um, and that thing sat in a safe forever. And be able to use that here and kind of honor him by doing something so special with such a special gun, it really does mean a lot to me. Let me tell you a little bit about Greg. He's kind of a quiet guy. He has guided me once before, but once you get him going, he is hilarious. I've had a lot of fun with him, and I couldn't have handpicked a better guide to guide us with Ryan. My name is Greg Lokers. I'm a guide here at Legends Rants, and uh, this week I have the privilege of guiding Maddie Warren and uh, Ryan Tackett. Yeah, it's always a good idea whenever you get to a new place to set up a game camera. We always set up some Reconyx game cameras just because you want to have a good idea of what exactly is coming in. And we need to know because we've got a special buck in mind for old Ryan. Yeah, well, I'm excited to see what we can find. So the blind we're sitting in today is called the island. And there's a reason it's called the island because there's a moat around it. You have to cross a bridge just to get there. All right, so it's the last day. The weather finally cleared up. It's been raining the last few days, pretty much since we've been here. It's kind of dark out. I got my two best hunting partners here, so I'm feeling pretty optimistic. So 
So we're sitting there, and then all of a sudden, way out across the pasture, way out in the taller weeds that you can't see too much, is just a rack. And that's all you can see. And it's just moving along, and it's coming right at us. I see him. So I take my shot, and they say he's down, and I couldn't be more excited. I was extremely nervous. He took a long time to get in there and get me a clean shot, the shot that you know he deserved, and I could not be happier. Well, we got him. Here he is. That's right. What do you think about him? It's amazing. This whole deal has been amazing. We finally had the right deer come in. Yeah, I love him. He's so wide, a typical frame. I like these cool, bladed brow tines. I got to use my dad's gun, which is a special thing for me. Yeah. Um, Check out this gun, y'all. This is a beautiful gun. It's a 300 Win Mag. Um, it's a family heirloom. It was Ryan's dad's, and unfortunately, he's no longer with us. So it's like he's with us on this hunt since we used his rifle. And I think it's just the cherry on top of a perfect hunt. Yeah, it really is. And I can't thank you and your dad enough. I mean, to be a part of this and be a part of your family is something very special to be a to be included in something like this. I mean, this is, not very many people get to do this. And I'm very fortunate to have you all. The Legends Ranch experience is something that uh, words can't describe. It's a feeling down in your heart and in your soul. It's a feeling that I wish I could give to other people because it'll make them a better person. I have a saying that uh, the way I spell love is not L-O-V-E. That's the way most people spell love. The way I spell love is T-I-M-E. And when you come out here to the Legends Ranch and you get the Legends Ranch experience and spend the T-I-M-E, you will Cheers. fall in love. So when you talk to Mr. Warren about hunting and about all of his hunting adventures, he always talks about the experience. And that's what you get here. At the Legends Ranch, it's not just about the kill, not about the hunt, it's about everything. And I'm excited and I'm grateful and privileged to have the opportunity to even be here. I had my dad and my soon-to-be husband here, two of the most important people in my life, bonding and making memories in a deer stand and throwing a bait out and fishing and just talking, spending time together. My dad has always said, how do you spell love? That's T-I-M-E, time. And we spent a lot of time here together at Legends Ranch. And I think that we're very blessed and fortunate to be able to come to a place like this and make memories that are gonna last for an entire lifetime for our family. Thank you. You're welcome. You know what? I think I'm going to keep you. Yeah? I think you're all right. <laughs> well, me you too. done good, honey. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank I you. somehow got lucky. Yeah. You just got to keep in mind, we both know how to shoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Taxidermy work for the High Road Group is provided by our friends at Conroe Taxidermy. Conroe, Texas.